Hey friends, welcome back to Crafter Support. If you're new, I'm Andrea and so happy you're here. Today we'll be diving into Illustrated Faith's Proverb 31 study focusing on wisdom. I've previously printed out these um, from the Print and Pray shop. This is just the ephemera that goes with this study. I use sticker paper and then have my Cricut cut it out. And if you need a video on how to do that, just put a comment down below and I can get one up for you, but they make it um, pretty simple for um, you to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right in and get started with the study because I have a lot to say. Um, I'm a person of words, like I love words. I use a lot of words every day, I'm a talker. Um, I practiced speaking in school, I was part of like a speech league, I won trips for extemporaneous speaking. Words really, really matter to me. And so when I study a word like wisdom, I like to look into meanings along with context and basic knowledge of the word. So while studying wisdom, I realized it partners well with knowledge, which then leads to understanding. So I had to ask myself, what is the difference between wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? Because there's clearly a difference. And I wanted to be able to separate all of it if I could. So I looked, I looked up each word and I looked them up under the biblical um, definition, not just a definition. Like what was the biblical um, explanation for wisdom? And so here's what I found. And I thought this was really, really awesome. So I'm just going to read you word for word what I looked up and what I found. And I encourage you to look it up and maybe you'll get like something that kind of is significant to you because this really um, helped me understand this and really actually changed my mind on some things. So it says wisdom is a capacity of the mind that allows us to understand life from God's perspective. And I was like, wow, that is a pretty bold definition. It's accurate in my eyes, but still extremely bold. So I'm going to read it again. It says wisdom is a capacity of the mind that allows us to understand life from God's perspective. That, like I said, it just blew my mind. So then I moved on to knowledge and the word knowledge in the Bible denotes an understanding, a recognition or acknowledgement to know something is to perceive it or to be aware of it. Many times in scripture, knowledge carries the idea of a deeper appreciation of something or a relationship with someone. And the Bible is clear that the knowledge of God is the most valuable knowledge a human being can possess. But it is also clear that simply being aware of God's existence is not sufficient. The knowledge of God must be encompassed by the deep appreciation for the relationship with him. You know, the most important thing that we have is a relationship with God and building that through Jesus Christ. And if we don't have that, we don't have anything. We have nothing. And that's truly what I believe. I believe I have absolutely nothing without Christ. And so I was pretty impressed by that definition for um, knowledge. And then I went to understanding. And this this ending part that I'm going to read, I'm going to read some of it to you, and then I'm going to read the ending. I, this set off this whole other study that I started to do. Um, so understanding is seen as a gift of God. And you can read about that in Daniel 2 21. And it is to be prayed for just like in Psalms 119 34. Um, but the question is, where shall wisdom and understanding be found? The response is God alone knows. You can find that in Job. There's a lot in Job that you can read about. It also results from the study of the divine precepts and careful reflection in the sanctuary. This is the part that absolutely blew my mind. And it says, hearing is no assurance of understanding. Oh, wow. Now that I can relate to. I can read the Bible one day and get so much out of the scripture and feel so like good about the time that I spend with the Lord. But then there's other days that I read and read and read and nothing, nothing jumps out at me. You could ask me five minutes after reading and doing a study, and I would have no idea to, to be able to tell you what I read. Um, I have times where I get so confused by, I'm like, wait, who is even talking in the scripture? Like I get, and then I get overwhelmed and I start skipping things and it can be a struggle sometimes to study. But after doing this particular study, I realized I need to start by asking for wisdom 
for the scripture I'm reading, knowledge to give ownership to it, and understanding to be able to use it. Because what good is it to have the scripture and have memorized all this scripture and all of these things if I can't use what I've learned? Whether it's to help myself or to help somebody else or to teach or to, you know, experience something that I normally would have missed out on because I didn't have that knowledge of God. So I thought about it and I thought, so who in the Bible prayed about um, wisdom? And of course, Solomon came to mind. So I went back and I read the story of Solomon again, and I was completely blown away because I didn't remember some of the stuff that I had read before. And if you haven't read the story of Solomon, it's in First Kings. It started at First Kings chapter one, and I think it goes all the way through to chapter 11. Definitely check that out if you haven't. But it talks about um, Solomon was young when he became king after his father, David. And when a God appeared to him in a dream and asked him what he wanted, anything, God said, you can have anything. Solomon's wise response was he asked for wisdom to rule over God's people. And Solomon's life shows us something important. Wisdom only helps us if we use it, right? Like, isn't that crazy? So if we don't use the wisdom that we're given, what good is it? The realism of Solomon's troubles and failures may be one of his most important contributions to us. Through Solomon's foolishness, we see that all of the wisdom in the world does not change our human nature. Think about this. It does not change our human nature. We can have wisdom. We can have knowledge. We can have understanding. But if we don't use it, it's no good to us. So I encourage you that before you start your study, pray for wisdom, pray for knowledge and understanding, and really allow God and the Holy Spirit to lead you through your study. And that's what I did with this. And I had the absolute best Bible study that I've had in such a long time. And did I understand absolutely everything and have complete like authority over what I was reading? No, I didn't. But you know what? He pointed, God pointed things out to me that I had missed. And I know I've read the, the story of Solomon over and over and over again. But there were so many things that I had missed that I needed to learn from that was going to help bless me later. So I am just really grateful for this. And I encourage you to get a mentor, to have somebody that you can talk to that can maybe point you in the right direction of, you know, just what you might need from the Bible and how to seek it. So guys, this was like one of the best Bible studies I've done in a long time. I hope you guys are are doing this. And, and even if you just go through and look at wisdom and search it in your Bible, I hope that you guys can get something out of your next Bible study a little bit deeper, maybe even than what you're already doing. It was amazing. So again, I, this is just from Illustrative Faith. Um, I did my little um, stickers and my markers and I love it. I love doing a Bible study like this. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you all have a great day and I will be praying for you. So thanks for watching. Bye.